to have six guys that are getting medals at the top level events is super rare. It's rewarding because you're proud to be from such a heavy country of talent. So for the selection for the upcoming games, uh, it's a process that's open to any Canadian uh, slopestyle rider, half-pipe rider. Um, it's based off uh, the World Snowboard Points list. So January 1st, 2018, the highest ranked Canadians on that list will get the remaining spots uh, for the games. So on our Canadian national team, we have six guys uh, that have all hit major podiums in the last year. There are other nations that have, you know, three, four guys that are also in the mix, but to have six guys that are getting medals at the top level events, X Games, US Open, uh, where everybody's there is, uh, is super rare. You have 700 point level events, 800, 900, and 1,000. What that means is if you win those events, that's the amount of points you get. And basically what happens is at the end of that period, January 1st, 2018, the top riders that are ranked will get those spots. The IOC is, is viewing slopestyle and big air as one discipline. We can only send four guys, four girls for both. People like Max and Mark basically opened up a quota with only doing two World Cups. Last year we, we had the chance to qualify uh, earlier for the Olympics. Uh, the Canadian team uh, would choose two riders and this became my goal right away because I remember in Sochi uh, four years ago when uh, I, I learned I was going to the Olympics only two weeks before. I was at US Open and unfortunately didn't have a good result over there. But uh, coming to X Games, uh, Norway, which was the last contest of the year. Uh, I made a pretty good result over there. You know, I've been competing for over 10 years, so I don't know if I'm really gonna go for another one. I could, but if I would miss that one, that opportunity to go, like, I would really be bummed, you know? At least in the situation I am right now, like, I'm pretty solid, like, I'm already in, but, like, Mikey and Darcy, they're not in, you know? So, like, for them, like, there's even more pressure, you know? So right now, Mark and Max Ons have their spots locked in, and then it's me, Tyler, Seb, and Darcy fighting for the next two. We have this contest that just came up in China out of the blue. It's called the Banana Open, and if that becomes like a higher than 700 point event, that gives me and Darcy another chance to drop one of our low results. It would all come down to Dew Tour, but with this China event, we could go, could be going into Dew Tour in a better spot than we are now. I was so fortunate to start off the year with back-to-back -back podiums. I got third at Locks and then second in Aspen at X Games. And then struggled a little bit here and there at some contests. They didn't really quite put it down. Didn't make the finals of US Open or Norway X Games. And then I blew my knee. I just had to chill real hard. So like pretty much do nothing for nine months. It really came down to do to her. If Darcy got on pretty much the top of the podium, top two or three, he would have went. But if I got a top five in there, it would have kind of solidified my spot. Mikey, unfortunately, hooked his toes and lacerated his kidney and his spleen, so he was out of the running. Yeah, so basically, I was in China for the Banana Open. Fell on my second run, but really fell. Hooked my toes on a front 10. Kind of just elbowed myself in the gut. Ended up peeing a ton of blood, and then rushed to the hospital, all that. The scene is either Tyler or Darcy going because Seb's locked in his spot because he has good enough results where the Tyler or Darcy can't bump ahead of Seb. Pretty much they were like, banana open doesn't count. And I was like, damn, I only have two more opportunities, which it's going to be pretty hard. I could take like two firsts to maybe edge out like somebody who had a full season and has three decent results. Due to our finals happened, got first run, landed that, which is pretty awesome. That score, I think, gave me like an 86, maybe. So I knew already going into the second run, like, okay, you gotta up that. Third run, into that second jump, backside triple. And I remember like looking at the ground, thinking I had maybe just a bit more air time and just slightly under-rotated. I knew, I was just like, damn it, I didn't get it. Not gonna be in second, which is what I needed. Uh, Thanks, man. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs>